Hi, I'm Rob Bishop from Raspberry Pi, and uh, I'm here to tell you about five cool projects you can make with a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of projects here, uh, one of which is a project called Pi in the Sky uh, by a guy called uh, Dave Ackerman, and he actually connected a Raspberry Pi to a weather balloon and sent it up into the upper atmosphere and, uh, and took pictures on the way up. And it's really quite awesome to think that, you know, a bit of hardware that you might have in your bedroom, uh, you know, creating little scratch games on has actually been into near space. That's pretty awesome. Another project is a uh, remote control forklift truck, which actually just came through a few minutes ago and was pretty cool. Uh, where they've got a, a webcam on a forklift that you can remote control. And it just shows how easy it is to make robot-like things uh, using Python and the Pi. So you can see here, this is the feed from the camera that's uh, mounted on the forklift truck. And from here, he can press the buttons to control it and the forklift truck will move. Uh, it's a very simple robotics project, just shows how easy it is to, to uh, make robotics happen with a Raspberry Pi. Another project which I really liked uh, came from BET, uh, was with the Cheltenham uh, Makerspace guys when I was there. And uh, they actually uh, controlled a quadricopter with a bunch of bananas, which kind of seems a bit random, but was pretty cool. There's also another one by uh, Carrie Ann Philbin, who uh, produced a, uh, a box uh, with a Raspberry Pi that um, printed out, which is pretty cool. Um, very simple project, uh, just shows how cool it is to make just fun things really using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to have a purpose. It can, uh, it can just be interesting. And another one from uh, New York, uh, where it was a dog treat dispenser that emailed you back a photo of the dog eating the treats. Here you can see the thing he built. Um, he's a CNC enthusiast, so he, he produced all this casing and, and mechanics for it, and just shows how it, it's good to see engineering as a complete solution you know, uh, both in terms of creating a case for something like a 3D printer or CNC tools, through to actually doing the, the Python programming which powers the, uh, the interactivity. It's a huge variety of projects from, you know, all over the world uh, by boys and girls just showing what you can go and do.